Okay, so right here on this one, when they're doing inverse sine of a ratio, what are they asking us to provide? Yeah, a degree measure, an angle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a triangle where my sine, so here's my angle right here, where my sine is x minus one over four. Isn't that what we've done before? We didn't have x's before, but we did inverse sine of three fourths and there'd just be a three instead of the x minus one. So what in the heck is this going to be? Well, let's call this A. And I'm going to go to another sheet of paper, and we're going to go ahead and do Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus x minus 1 squared is equal to 4 squared. Right? Let's solve for A. And I don't want to multiply anything out. Why? Because they don't have it multiplied out here, do they? Okay. So a squared equals what? 16. Good. 16 minus x minus 1 quantity squared. So now what do I got to do to get a by itself? Square root. Boom. So then what we can do is instead of a, when we look at this side, we can see the square root of 16 minus x minus 1 Squared. You know what this makes me think of when I look at it? It makes me think of calculus 2. This is a skill you would need to be successful in calculus 2. Okay, so now we've got this, we got this triangle. So what's tangent of that then? Boom. Okay, so could we do the same thing that we did before with ugly variables? Yeah, we could. Nice. We just got one more problem. One more problem. We're going to call it good for the day. Ch uh, Kyler, who, what's your challenge you're going to challenge the class with on this last one? 33. I have a dislike for you right now, yeah, Kyler. Sine one half of <laughs> x cosine x minus sine five halves x cosine x equals cosine cubed x square root of sine x. What is sine to the one half x? Square root. Okay. This is going to be largely similar to this problem here, where we took out whatever was in common to both sides. Okay? So you tell me, what can I take out on the left side here? What do both sides have? What do both terms have in common? They got a cosine, so let's take out a cosine. So what else do they have in common? Square root of sine, right? They're sine to the one half. I'm just going to go sine to the one half because visually I think that'll be a little bit more pleasing. So if I take that out, what do I have left on this first term? One. I got nothing left. I took the cosine out. I took the sine to the one half out. I got nothing left in that first term. What's what I have left in my second term? Sine, sine squared. Because five halves, you take away a half, it gives me four halves, which is two. One minus sine squared. Okay, so sine x, we've already talked about that. Sine the square root of sine x. Okay, then we've got cosine x. Then what's 1 minus sine squared the same as? Cosine squared. cosine squared. And is that the same thing as that? Yeah. Boom.
That's it. We're done. I don't have your test graded, so I'm not going to give you an assignment today. Okay? I should have told the people that were, aren't here via the recording, I should have given them like a big old long assignment. Yeah, yeah. Um, I should have said like do numbers 65 through 72 from that section. So. You should just make another short recording saying the assignments you just want to send them up for these. Say, try and there was, a, there was a joke that I, that I used to play every once in a while on kids, is that if they'd like go to the bathroom while they were gone, or no, 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 when they were gone for a day, this was before recordings and stuff, I would say, hey, when so-and-so gets back tomorrow, everything that you guys say will be right. I don't care what you say, I will totally agree with. And we just make up the totally most bogus things like when the exponent was prime number, then we had to do this process. And when the exponent was a composite number, then we had to do this process. And and da 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 da. And and, and one time I did it where somebody was the person who was gone was a great 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 student, and they're just taking notes like crazy. Now wait a minute, what was that? What what did Bob say? Because you know, and so anyway.